Good morning, this is Sarah with Sarah's House of Random, reading from the book of Awakening by Mark Nepo. And I'm going to just start with today. I know I missed a few days, but I'm just going to start with today. May 14th. A game of seesaw. The greatest defense is being who you are. How often we are drawn into opposition with one another. Certainly there are times that conflict is inevitable. There is only one parking space. There is only one donut left. There is only one job in view. But most of the time, on the inner plane, there is plenty to go around, and it is more a game of seesaw to keep myself up or to keep my sense of how I see myself up. I somehow feel a need to put you down. This only diverts me from my path and sucks all my energy into a battle that often doesn't matter. In truth, no amount of rearranging the world will make us feel worthy. The only response to adversity or misunderstanding is to be more completely who we are, to share ourselves more. Otherwise, we are always reacting and countering, and never being. Just look to the flowers and trees. They do not suppress each other. Even when crowded, they show themselves and grow in all directions, and so make it to the light. Meditation for today. Sit quietly and consider someone who holds a position opposite to yours. Breathe evenly and allow yourself to feel the pull to discredit or invalidate this person and their position. Now breathe slowly and look for the string of heart that makes you think your opposite views are tied to each other. Use your deepest breathing to cut the string. If you like the video, please like it. Um, feel free to share. Uh, subscribe for more, as I mostly do these every day. <laughs> Can't say I do them every day now because I've missed a few and I'm very sorry for that. Um, leave a comment or feel free to email me at the email address in the description box below. And I hope you guys enjoyed my hiking video. Um, I might start using this channel, um, to showcase my hiking and kayaking and other things. Uh, I just need to get a camera ready for that. So, um, yeah. Yeah. I hope you all have a good day and happy Mother's Day to those mothers out there, whether if you have children or fur babies, um, or if your children are not yours, you're watching it over people's children, doesn't matter. You're a mother. Happy Mother's Day. I love you.